What's up, everybody, and ladies and gentlemen, it is Booyahman85. It's been a long time coming, but I finally fixed my uh, mic jack on my uh, on top in front of my computer panel. It wasn't hooked up to my motherboard properly, so I had to... Hello, tell Commander. You. Welcome to the Space Shuttle Mission. Please log in to Mission Control, then you may start the mission at any time. Good luck. So, um, finally, we're going to get around to doing STS-8. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, I won't take so long to finish the rest of these. Um, I don't have a lot of uh, subscribers and followers, so I've just been kind of doing this stuff at my own pace. But uh, you, you keep watching, give me some really good views, and even commenting on what I can fix, and uh, I can start uploading it uh, a little bit more frequently. Driving a school bus with a bunch of kids every day is, you know, a toll. I went to the dentist today, and uh, we'll talk about that later. All right. So, SDS-8, carried out by Challenger, August 30th, 1983. <clears throat> a spectacular pre-dawn -li pre liftoff, the first it launched in darkness and the first landing in darkness from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, herald the start of STS-8. After its five-day mission, STS-8 la landed and ended its, la ended its journey, landing in the first l dark landing at Edwards Air Force Base. The majority of the major of the tested... Another major dis uh, mission objective was to test the KU band link between the satellite, the shuttle, and the tracking data and relay satellite Tidris One, and the Tidris ground station at White Sands, New Mexico. Bluford became the first Afro-American to fly into space. Uh, the flight crew: uh, Flight Commander Richard Truly, uh, Pilot Daniel Branston. Uh, Mission Specialist 1, Daniel Gar Dale Gardner. Mission Specialist 2, Galeon Bluford Jr. Mission Specialist 3, William Thornton. Launch pad is uh, Kennedy Space Center, 39A. Orbit, inclin orbit and inclination, 160 nautical miles at 28.5. Almost 100 orbits at 98. Duration was 6 days, 1 hour, 8 minutes, and 43 seconds, landing at Edwards. Uh, the payload, it talks about everything they took up with them. If you want to read that, you can pause the video. Um, but let's go ahead and get this started. I know I said I was never going to do a pre-launch uh, tutorial, but, you know, I'm like, yeah, what the hell. It'll, it gives me a chance to talk to the fans, maybe answer some questions or comments. And the tutorial is not like rocket science, so it's it'll be easy. All right, so once again, we are back in my comfortable zone. I take a great pride in this program because, again, this is like the only way I can fly the space shuttle now. Now that we're doing complete live commentary and I don't have to fucking piece together all the different audio bits and freaking Audacity or Sony Vegas, or I don't have Sony Vegas, so don't ask. I have I'm running debut, which works, and I just have to convert it to MP4 and all that baloney nonsense. Uh, I'll cover that later. I, I, I've recorded this whole thing, this whole commentary, about three times. I finally got it to where <coughs> the recording uh, debut doesn't pick up both my uh, my commentary from both the speakers and my headset. Otherwise, you would hear two voices talking at the same time, which is really annoying. So I finally toned down the mixer, turned off the audio to the headset. So then, makes it a, a little bit cleaner and uh, a lot easier to understand. So this will be take three. Let's try not to screw it up this time. This doesn't look ominous, is it? Uh, all right. Once again, activate commander's communication system. The panel I'm currently looking at. Ha ha ha. Overhead panel five. Com mode to box box. Left audio, air to ground. Channel one, all the way over. Uh, I don't even know what that switch does, but whatever. And the intercom, A and B, all the way over. We want audio and we want the tone, so we need to go two up. One. Challenger, this is off control. Are you ready? Challenger, loud and clear. Over. Copy that. Challenger, out. Uh, the only thing I hope is that 
um, the game the game audio coming from the speakers doesn't pick up on the headset and therefore make double tracks. So I'll try to keep my speakers down a little lower. So. Anyway, so um, we're just gonna do another another little crash course here. Um, so yeah, uh, here's the commander's uh, heads-up displays. You can change them to different things. Currently, we're running that and that. This is the uh, ascent entry flight instrument menu. <coughs> we're currently using the uh, new and improved MFDs from the future, from uh, from the later part of the space shuttle mission. Otherwise, these were these used to be the original like original metal me metallic gimbals in the thing, but they updated to digital systems. So yeah, um, go back up to up. You can go to orbit. Nobody cares about that. You can't you can't look at the data bus. But who cares? And you can go up again, and you can go to ops. You have the same menu over there as you do right here, so that's kind of cool. You can you can mess with your menus any way you want to. Uh, they do have defaults. There's uh, the our ohms ones, oxygen uh, oxygen systems, main propulsion. There's our thrusters, which are currently not using. Uh, APU, fuel, temperature, and hydraulics. Subsystems menu. This is the uh, flight control. Uh, your rudder, your Evalons, your speed brake, your body flaps, uh, they're all here. So when you do your gimbal check, if this is on, you'll see all your little gimbal things. And We'll go ahead and leave that on for now, and I'll actually kick this over to, du to duplicate. So uh, that's how I'm going to fly from now on. Because I don't even use, I don't even use this down here. It's just like, this is all rocket science crap, and all I'm doing is flying, I'm doing what they tell me to do. So it's... That's our playing on easy. Um, the cool thing about this is you can't do anything out of the ordinary. Like you can't, you can't go off and create your own mission, which is good because I don't want to get lost in space. Ha ha ha. Um, the dials you do want to pay attention to are you. Is this one? Uh, this is your height. This is how many feet you're climbing or descending at, at, at and, and the rate. This is how fast you're going. Uh, kilometers per second, uh, 10 feet per second, 20 feet per second. Then you'll get up to the 20k kilometers per second. Um, I don't know what this does. Some rocket scientists can comment on that later, but whatever. Because, as you can see, this selection is the same one that's over there because we have main propulsion because he's the pilot. And of course he has hell. Go back up. I'll switch to the pilot seat. See, he has both uh, main propulsion and APU right here, along with the co-pilot ability. So, uh, and then I have ohms. I have main propulsion uh, monitors, and then my flaps and stuff, because that's how we're gonna do that. All right, um, I'll try to jump around to the different seats depending on who needs to do what action, but yeah, oh well. <coughs> All right, oh look, a suspicious looking panel. A suspicious panel. Vox Vox. Uh, air to ground, channel one and two, A and A, intercom, A and B. Calendar, pilot, you ready? Roger that. Oh yeah, I don't think I went over this in my previous videos, but here's your mission clock. We haven't done anything yet, so this is after, this is from liftoff to when we land. This is how much uh, RCS fuel we have at the moment. And some of these dials work, most of them we don't really don't care. Here's your master alarm panel. F6. Yeah, I go ahead and turn this little guy on. Turn that little guy on so you can actually do that. You can look around, you can do this. Whoa, man. 
it, it, it does have a 3D um, compartment element in the fact that, oh my, look at that. Um, I think my last landing, I actually used this to land the shuttle. Um, we'll actually try to do it in real life, and I'll try to land it like this. So you get a little more realistic feel. Let's see, tell, tell me what you guys think about it. When we get to that stage, but I'm just going to go ahead and turn on my heads-up display because I like pretty lot, fl pretty flashing lights and stuff. Oh yeah, one little tidbit. I'm going to go ahead and set the mission clock for the nine-minute hold. All you got to do is come down here, nine, set. You're ready to go. All you have to do now is hit that button. Uh, when they tell us, so. Challenger, press for a board advisory check. Over. Houston, Challenger. A little abort light just below the heads-up display, and it's gone. It's your hat. Oh, it's your dog. So, yeah, I finally completed, um... This little setup right here, the uh, the launch pad, this elevated area, this big boy, the tower, and uh, and I'm doing this one at the moment. It's about we're about halfway up as far as the detail, and I'm trying to make it just as accurate as it is in the simulator. Oh yeah, I even have the little red light up top. But uh, I don't think I'm going to build that. I, th I don't think it's necessary. Besides, I don't have enough room. Uh, right here is just a giant freaking mountain I had to carve out. But, you know, whatever. Anyway. Challenger, this is Launch Control. Give me counter check. CDR. Roger. PL2. Copy that. MS-1. Roger. MS-2. Loud and clear. MS-3. Loud and clear. Oh yeah, here's the aft keypad and MDF uh, for the payload bay doors and the KU antenna, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, oh look! Here's a suspicious looking panel right here. Apparently that's uh, this guy, the guy I'm looking through. Apparently that's his control panel, but I apparently nobody cares if he's Vox boxed or not. There's another suspicious looking panel. Oh, I'm underneath the light. That's cool. Airbags. Yeah, and there's the la the only access into the flight deck is uh, through the ladder and then of course down through the hatch to get out of here. But whatever. Oh, hi, you pretty looking person. It's kind of funny how they're just like spaced out. Oh, MS3. You didn't get to you didn't pay for your uh you didn't pay first class, did you? And you get stuck in coach. <laughs> There's the uh ladder access up to the flight deck. Of course, the hatch out of the shuttle. And uh, oh look, there's all the lunchies. Darn. So. <sighs> Challenger, this is launch control. Side hatch is secure. Challenger, copy that. Lovely. Challenger, this is launch control. Close cabin vent. Close cabin vent. To inhibit, Roger. Uh, left, uh, left two. Here's your, uh, here's your cabin controls right here. So we're gonna go here. Right here. Flows, cabin vent. Flight control, challenger. Cabin pressure, nominal. Over. Flight control, copy that. Damn, master alarm. 
So yeah, there are your vent controls. Right, here's your thermal control systems. Most of them. Uh, fuel line lockers and uh, sealers. And uh, there's your speed brakes. Most of them. Uh, your wheel lock and all that cool random shit. IMU alignment complete. We show 28 degrees, 36 minutes, 30.32 seconds north latitude, and 80 degrees, 36 minutes, 14.88 seconds west longitude. Over. I'm trying to figure out where he's getting those numbers from. This is the pilot we're talking about, right? Well, I don't see any of those number displays anywhere around here. I mean, what I was thinking was they were, like, up here somewhere. But whatever. Challenger, confirm all the pressure on. Roger, pressure on boiler. Right here. Uh, panel R2, bottom of the panel. Boiler N2 supply. One and one, two, three on. Light control. We confirm boiler power on. Over. Roger that. Challenger, out. Uh, hell, I'll even turn on this display just because I can. Now you have a pretty picture. Challenger, this is on control. Over. Captain Van, over. Roger, Captain Van. Light control, Challenger. Captain Van, complete. Over. Copy, Challenger. See, there's the uh, aft keypad right there. Challenger, flight control, activate backup flight system. Copy that, backup flight system to enable. That little switch right there. We've already did that. Left keypad. Item 25. Light X2. control. Ops 1 to BFS complete. Challenger. Wait the front. Item 25. Execute. Pass backup flight system transfer engine 1. To the engines. But that, I don't even know what that means right here. But nobody cares. Challenger, this is on control. Over. Cap event. We copy. Cap event to enable. Light control. Challenger. Cap event. Check complete. Over. Challenger, we copy. All right, cabin is pressurized and on its own. Challenger, mode op one, over. Roger, ops one. Ops one zero one. Ops one zero one, complete. Spec ninety nine pro, resume. Right, we're ready to fly.
Because that's the main computer, but whatever. Challenger, go for the main propulsion system. Power off. Challenger, roger. Main propulsion system. Right, panel R2. HE isolation valves A and B, left, center, and right, all open. Uh, boom, boom, and isolation valve pneumatics open. Engine power left, center, right, left, center, right, both. This is Challenger. We confirm a propulsion system to enable. Copy that, Challenger. Engines are on. Challenger, ready for a board advisory check. Roger, check. Nobody wants that. Challenger, Houston, roger. Abort advisory check. Caution and warning memory. Clear caution and warning memory verify no unexpected errors. Challenger. This is on control. T minus nine minutes and hold. Challenger, copy that. Out. All right. So while uh, while we're doing this, um, we are looking good, pretty much. Normally, this is the uh, the parts where I'm not talking is usually just open for debate. Give me comms check. Confirm that's a launch. I got no ammunition uh, as far as hey, stuff to talk about. Call for launch. Uh, Shuttle engineers. Looking good. Weather? We confirm. Go for launch. Because no, Safety mission and insurance? Today, so I've got, I've got nothing to do. Yeah, go. go for launch. Um, of course, this is a... CDR? This channel's been up for a while, but I don't know if, Roger. if I've got an actual following PLT? with this series. But, uh, Copy that. I'll, 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 I'm going to finish MS1. it in two or three years. So Roger. If you're hanging with me, don't don't back off. MS2. Loud and clear. MS3. Because apparently this playlist, this series, Loud and clear. is uh, my best one I've uploaded. At least it's got the most views it's out of all of it. Out of everything I've uploaded, uh, the first episode of this series actually launch directory the, is go the majority of all my views so challenger uh, this is on control present gap now copy that so uh, I'll do the best I can but uh if you guys want me to talk about something <laughs> you, know, you might have to say something you know otherwise that's business as usual this is on control Track through access on active. We confirm. Go for APU, please start. Copy. Uh, ACC bus sensors. Or, no, that's right. That's not right. Uh, ESS bus source. Um, BC, CA, and AB switches to on. Check that fuel take valves. Fuel intake valves are on. Uh, APU center power. One, two, Light three, control on. challenger. APU pre start complete. Challenger, wake up. Uh, so, yeah. Challenger, flight control. Go for APU. Start. We copy. APU fuel intake valve. One, two, and three to open. APU one, two, and three to start. Let them spin up. Hydraulic main pump pressed to normal. And hydraulic circular pumps off. Challenger. Light control. APU looking good. Over. Challenger. Looking good. Now I'm going to go ahead and skip a step and we're going to go AC bus sensors to monitor. We'll need that for takeoff, and the cool thing about it is I can prepare. Challenger, you are out. Internal power. Copy that. Internal, Internal power. power. Flash evaporator controllers from 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 one to off. This is off control. 
Hey, hey, you. Okay. Roger, light control. Challenger, initiate hydraulic. Yeah. Over. Roger, light control. Yeah, see, now we're doing the hydraulic check of all our flight control surfaces. And uh, you can see that. And engines gimbling left and right, up and up and down and around, and then to launch position. Challenger, this is launch control. Hydraulic yeah. complete. Challenger, Houston, copy that. Copy. Challenger, go for E. Challenger, this is launch control. Oxygen and close. Looking good. Challenger, we confirm. That's what the bottom line is. Go for ET LO2 pressurization. View caution and warning memory. Verify no unexpected errors. Uh, Challenger in work. I'm just going to go ahead and pop that. And pop that just for good old time's sake. Flight control. Challenger. APU. Power off. We copy. Light control. Uh to inhibit actually Challenger. close your eyes with voice you see bus we got light control Challenger go for ET LH2 pressurization view caution Challenger. and warning light control hydrogen pressure on you are go for launch Roger. shut up launch. damn it pause Challenger go for ET LH2 pressurization Clear caution and warning memory. There are no unexpected Copy that, Challenger. Gee, Willikers. Close your close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. Challenger. Now at D minus eighty seconds and count. You are for launch. Roger that. Light control. Whoop, wrong button. One minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and that concludes pre-launch of Challenger STS-8. I will continue to record this evening uh, and upload these, um, both pre-launch and launch, uh, when we get cleared. Uh, this is Booyah Man 8085 signing off. Have a good day.